And we spend a lifetime trying to be a part of cliques that oftentimes doesn't bring us anywhere. You know, you have that drive and you just, you just tell, I got to be a part of this. I got to be in this crowd. I got to be in that crowd. I got to be a part of this. And you spend all your energies and efforts and all your thoughts and everything is centered around that. And then you become a part of that crowd, that, which you consider the in crowd. And then you find yourself still out. You ever been in that situation? You invest all your time, your money, your energy. Man, I just got to be there. And then you get there, you say, man, this isn't what I thought it was. They got people out of social associate of mine. He wanted to be King of Zulu. Spent thousands of dollars wanting to be accepted, doing all kind of things. And when he became King of Zulu, there was still an absence and a void. And that's what happens to us as we drive to be accepted by earthly things. That drive and that desire that drives us, when we become a part of that earthly thing, we find out that that void still exists. So I want to talk to you this morning. See, God's uh, word is replete with examples of if we focus our eyes on the right thing, if we want to be a part of the right group, we're going to find that that void, that void that's in us, that absence, we're going to find that that void can and will be filled. Because that's a void in us that only can be filled one way. That's a void in us that should only be attracting us in one direction. But that old boy Satan, he's good at putting all these little trinkets, all these little things in front of us, making us think that that's most important. But God's words illustrate for you and I that regardless of what this one thinks, <clears throat> regardless of what that one thinks, the most important thing in life is what you think about your relationship with Christ. You see, because our energies and efforts should be focused on a relationship with Jesus Christ. We focus all of our energies and efforts on other relationships. We try to fill a spiritual void with a secular relationship. You ever find yourself saying, man, if I could just marry this guy, if I could just hook him, it will be the best thing in the world. And you marry that guy. And then 10 years later, you say to yourself, man, what drove me to do this? We want to thank you for being with us today. If this message has been a blessing to you and your family, we encourage you to make a donation to keep this broadcast on air. You can make your donations by going to BethesdaApostolicHouseOfPrayer.com on our secure website or Give the Fly app where you can make your donation to keep this broadcast on the air. Please remember, your tithes go to your local church, but your offerings can go to where you're being fed. And as we continue on our journey, remember this. 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 tells us that we walk by faith, not by sight.